Child Behavior Consulting's Learn to Launch educational series merges research with evidence-based interventions to help students self-regulate. Do not delay in giving consequences. When you give consequences right after the behavior, it raises the student's ability to learn self-awareness and accountability. And it also allows for the student to be able to learn how to focus more. When we tell a student focus, they understand what it means because we explicitly teach it. We use one of the 10 tools to help them choose what skill that they need. They pull out the visual. In this case, it would be the focus tool. So that way they see it. And when they get distracted, either the teacher prompts them or they begin to self-talk to self-regulate. Oh yes, I need to focus. Take a look at our videos of a student who used to be mine and we were explicitly teaching focus. He challenges his classmates to try and distract him while he self-talks focus and he gets through to his goal. You try to distract me and that's it, gotta focus. But try to distract me by doing funny faces, trying to talk to me or anything, here you go. You want to be distracted? Okay, who wants to distract him? Go ahead. Jason. Jason. Did he focus? Yeah. yeah. That was too loud. Okay, now what do you want to do? Hmm. Let me do it again. Okay. One more time. Jason! 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 Nice. How did you ignore distractions? Karen Tree. By, by just looking on the floor and not looking at everyone else so I can just like focus on myself. Okay, so it kept his eyes? On the On what? On the string. Okay, and he kept his thoughts about? Walking. He kept his thoughts about what? Walking. About walking. And so this is what's taught, especially in one of our professional development workshops. Help focus me. I can't do it myself. And during the at the end and the conclusion of the workshop, the social workers, psychologists, and teachers completed an exit ticket of what they learned. And some of those comments were, it is helpful to educate all students about ADHD, to help them empathize and be more supportive. Students with ADHD are trying. They too need the skills and strategies that will help them learn, be patient, Tangible coping skills are okay. I learned how children feel when, in a, when unable to do a task. Imagine if this is what participants are learning now. Think about so much more that they need to learn. They need the knowledge and the action skills and interventions that follow. And also take a look at Dr. Russell Barkley's video. He's an authority with years worth of research in ADHD. If you want to contact us or you have questions, our information is info at childbehaviorconsulting.com. Our website is childbehaviorconsulting.com or you can contact us and message us right here. Remember, building the skills from the inside out to let the outside in. Make it a great day.